Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today we're preparing one of my favorite childhood recipes. It's baked chicken and rice with cream of mushroom. This video is going to be so delicious, I just can't wait to show you how I create my childhood dish. If you are a part of the Fireside Creative family, then you know my chicken has to be clean before I start cooking. Go over and check out my oven baked chicken drumsticks to see my simple cleaning method and know why it's important to clean your meat before cooking. My meat has already been cleaned, the thighs have been deboned, and the skin and fat have been removed. Now I'm going to make two slits in my chicken to help with the flavor of the meat when I start seasoning. Next, grab a paper towel and pat the meat dry to remove all of the moisture on the outside of the chicken. Now our chicken's dry, let's start applying the seasonings. First, I'm pouring in oregano. Then add in your cayenne pepper. I don't want my dish to be too spicy, but I want a little bit of heat when I bite into my chicken. You're gonna add in your parsley. Accent. And adobo. Rub all of these dry seasonings into your chicken. Then rub the seasonings down into the slits that you cut into your chicken. Then add in a little bit of the Italian dressing and massage it into the chicken as well. This will help increase the flavor of the chicken after it's been marinated. In a smaller bowl, place in your chicken and let it marinate in the refrigerator overnight for at least six to 12 hours. I've just taken my chicken out of the refrigerator. It looks good, it's been marinating overnight, and now I am ready to cook. In an aluminum pan, add in some vegetable oil. Move the pan around to make sure the oil covers the bottom of the pan. Thank you. 
Now, in your measuring cup, add in three cups of brown rice. Rub your hand over the top of the rice to smooth it out. Normally the measurements are one cup of rice to two cups of water. But here we're going to add in four cups of water to three cups of rice. We've added in our water, now let's start placing in our chicken. Along with the chicken and rice, I'm adding in some freshly chopped vegetables. Green bell peppers. Orange bell peppers. White onions. Red bell peppers. and celery. This next part is optional. Position your chicken where it's on top of your vegetables. At this time, you want to preheat your oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Also add in some sliced garlic. I'm adding in some more seasoning to flavor the rice and vegetables. You're going to add in adobo, oregano, Chicken bouillon. Place in a few pieces of butter as well throughout the dish so when the butter melts it'll flavor the rice as well. Cut 
Cover your pan with foil and place your dish into your preheated oven. Check your dish after 30 minutes. Let's see what the chicken and rice looks like after 30 minutes. Look at the rice. It's not fully cooked because there's still water in the pan. But the rice isn't burning nor sticking to the bottom of the pan. Continue to cook the rice until it absorbs all of the water and the rice becomes tender but not mushy. Remove all of the chicken out of the pan so we can add in the cream of mushroom. With a spoon, add in the cream of mushroom until it's all gone. Then smooth it over the rice and add in the chicken. Place the dish back in the oven for an additional 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, the dish is close to being complete. With a small brush, apply vegetable oil to the top of the chicken. Then place the pan back in the oven, uncovered, on broil for five more minutes.
And this is how you bake chicken and rice with cream of mushroom. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.